Okay, so my name's Nathan, I'm the Youth Minister at St Mary's Church in Fetcham. Uh, welcome to episode one of the Summer Shorties. Uh, these are just basically uh, a shorter version of the at-home videos uh, and it's in the summer, which is where the names come from. And uh, so I hope you enjoy uh, episode one and uh, here goes for part one. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with um, a 30 second challenge, which is what we're going to be doing on these Summer Shorties. Uh, Esther's done it for me as usual. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, let me read it. It's, it's on a paper airplane. We're really stepping things up on these summer shorties. Um, how many forward rolls can you do in 30 seconds? <laughs> when does that start? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Into it. <laughs> it's so, is the ground wet? Probably. I'm hoping so. It's not too bad. Oh my okay. goodness. All right, well, I guess let's, let's get the camera ready. So 30 second challenges, they're just going to be these little short things that you guys can try at home and equally try and send them in as well, see how many you can do. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can just keep it like that for now. Don't go yet. Okay. Ready? Steady. Hang on, let's warm up. Okay. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Okay. Well, during lockdown, I haven't really like moved my body, so doing loads of. It's basically a way of me. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, if you haven't done any exercise, that's going to be a challenge. Um, but hopefully, you can do it more than me once we work out how many I've done, and also more gracefully, because that was quite. Um, a few times I whacked my back on. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Esther. That was fun. And uh, yeah, guys, give it a go. Uh, send us in your attempts. Let's see who's the winner. Awesome. There's loads of different things which require waiting. And whether it's waiting for a bus, um, waiting for a film to download, uh, waiting for someone to reply to your text, waiting for exam results, waiting in a queue, uh, waiting for your washing to finish washing, and there's loads of other things that you can probably think of. And waiting isn't really a very fun thing, it can be quite frustrating, especially when we don't know how long it is we have to wait for. And we're in a time now which requires us to wait in lockdown and COVID-19, and it's hard because we don't know how long we're going to have to wait for. And it can be a bit frustrating and a bit worrying when we don't know when uh, we can go back to normal from what life used to be like. However, hopefully we can take some encouragement from some of the people that had to wait in the Bible. And all throughout the Bible there are different times where people have had to wait. Uh, and some examples are Joseph who had to wait uh, to be released from prison. Uh, there's Abraham who was waiting for God's promise. And also Moses and the Israelites who were waiting to be taken from the wilderness uh, to the promised land. And in each of these situations, people were waiting, but they didn't wait alone. God was with them. And in each of our waiting, whether it's you know COVID-19 and going back to normal, or maybe it's something else that you're waiting for, we're invited to wait on God, to fix our eyes on Him and focus on Him rather than the things that we're worried about or waiting for. And in doing so, we can find the strength, the perseverance and the assurance from Him. And there's an awesome verse in Isaiah 40 which says this, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. 
When we put our hope in God through times of waiting, he will give us the strength we need. So let's put our hope in God in our waiting and fix our eyes on him today, in the knowledge that we are loved, held and valued so much by him.